What's good, Josh? Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we are back with another preview and predictions for WrestleMania, man. WrestleMania 39 is this weekend. I am looking forward to it. So I'm going to do my preview and predictions for night one and night two. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting me to give my thoughts on who I think is going to win, why and why not, and where things will go after WrestleMania. But this is it. I am so looking forward to this. You know we're going to be doing the live stream reactions for night one and night two, as well as celebrating Dub's birthday. So I cannot wait. It's, it's a long time coming, y'all. We're about to see how these stories culminate and where things will end up going into uh, Monday Night Raw, make the Raw after uh, after Mania, and see how things play out. All right, <clears throat> so we're gonna start with Night One, and uh, this was a, a a very shocking turn of events. Night One will be starting with the United States Championship match, Austin Theory <clears throat> versus John Cena. I think that's gonna be a, a, a hot opener. John Cena coming back to Mania to wrestle austin theory in my honest opinion and be honest here theory got to get the win here i know some people are like oh it'll be cool if john can get it again uh capture the united states championship i just think for someone that's gonna be there for the long run it gotta be theory bro it has to be him he needs to win especially after him getting cooked like he did a few weeks back still haven't forgot about that him getting cooked by john cena he needs to win. He needs to win this match to really solidify himself, you know, going forward as the future of the company. Because, once again, I'm all cool for John capturing another title, being the United States champion. I think that would be cool to have for him to have one more run. But you got to be realistic here. He's not going to be there that long. He, you know, he's still filming stuff. And that's probably part of the reason why their match is going first. Because, you know, he probably has to film some stuff or, you know, take care of some stuff, you know um whatever he's uh working on uh you know movie wise or television show wise so it's just one of those type of things where he's not going to be there that much you know and even say for example he does win you know if he was to win and then drop the title on monday night raw it still kind of makes austin theory it doesn't make him look good so honestly i think the right person here is austin theory i hope they give us a great match austin theory in my opinion is the right person to win and retain the United States Championship. Now we're going with the SmackDown's Women Championship, Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to main event night one, but I think a lot of us uh, are in the camp of Rhea got to win this. Rhea has already lost to Charlotte at a previous WrestleMania, but this is not the same Rhea from uh, that WrestleMania. This is a different one. She's pretty much uh like one of the most popular women right now in wwe a lot of people love her even though she's a heel and her character change has been the best for her and she's you know really been putting on some pretty good matches and comes off as a credible threat to Char uh, charlotte's championship run honestly it should be Rhea. Rhea needs to win the smackdown women's championship and it's gonna really you know if she does become the smackdown champion which i hope she does you know, it'll change up the landscape a little bit on SmackDown. It's going to be interesting to see how that play out. But honestly, Rhea is, it. if it's not Rhea, then you've wasted our time <laughs> once again. It needs to be Rhea. Charlotte can take a loss at WrestleMania. She will be fine. All right. Now, I I did hear about this. I didn't know how this came about, but it's like the, it's like a, a tag team, uh, tag team type match between Braun Strowman and Ricochet versus the Street Profits versus Alpha Academy, apparently, versus Viking Raiders. I, I didn't know this was going on. I knew they talked about it a little bit on Raw and SmackDown here and there. I'm not sure what it's particularly for. It's just like a, uh, a, a, a tag team turmoil match in multiple teams going at it. I don't get the significance of it, so let me know down below. It, whoever wins this, do they get a, a number one contendership uh, situation later down the road for the uh, the tag team titles? I don't know, but they're just putting on multi-teams or multiple teams uh, on WrestleMania. <laughs> do I think it will be good? Do I think it will be fun? I do think it will be fun. 
You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I think this would be the perfect opening match for night one. But once again, apparently the rooms are. You know, well, they I think they announced it on uh, Raw, I believe, that the United States Championship match will be the opening match for night one. But I do think this would be a good opening match. You know, a, a good tag team match. Uh, doesn't really have any significance that I know of. But I do think it will be fun. And the people I will have winning that, honestly, honestly. I can see Braun and Ricochet winning that. I, I don't see the Street Street Profits would be a close second. I don't see Viking Raiders or Alpha Academy, but I do see Braun and Ricochet maybe winning that match. I can see that happening. So I'm probably going to go with Braun and Ricochet winning that match. Um, <clears throat> Let's go with the Becky Lynch, Lita, and Trish Stratus versus Damage Control, Bailey, Dakota Kai, and EO Sky. Um... Who do I have winning this match? I believe this is for the, the women's uh tag team championship. Um honestly, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I, I hadn't really been too invested into this. It I kinda don't want to see damage control get the titles back again for them to barely use it to randomly lose it on a Monday night raw. I I see Becky Lynch, Alita, and Trish Stratus. Um, holding the titles. Well, actually, I don't even think this is for a match. I don't think this is for the title. I think they're just having a, a a match, but they have the titles on the tag titles. So I don't even think the tag titles have even been defended now that I think about it. But I still think Becky Lynch, Lita, and Trish Stratus will win to have that good feel WrestleMania moment. Uh, I can see that happening. I don't know what they're going to do with the tag titles. I honestly think they need to get rid of them. But that's neither here nor there. But I'm going with Becky Lynch, Lita, and Trish Stratus. All right. A match that I do think is going to be really, really good. Seth Rollins versus Logan Paul. I think this is going to be a great match. I think this is going to be very, very good. Maybe match of the night. Logan Paul can go, whether you like him or not. Seth Rollins is Seth Rollins. Um, honestly, I think Seth should win here. Logan, Logan's been doing his thing. But I think Seth should win here. I, I, don't, I don't want Seth to have back-to-back -back losses at WrestleMania. I think Seth should win here. I think yeah, Seth deserves to get a win over Logan Paul. I think that would be cool, you know. Granted, Logan Paul is not a regular talent that's going to be there on a week-to-week -week basis. So I'm all for Seth Rollins winning, but I do think this may be match, potentially match of night one, for sure. Then we got Rey Mysterio versus Dominic Mysterio. Oh, this is going to going to be so many emotions here crowd's going to really be into this one um but i'm going to have to make the unpopular choice i think dominic's winning i, I it just only makes sense Ray's entering the hall of fame you know i'm pretty sure he's you know close to potentially retiring uh from in-ring action you know Ray has done it all in this business everyone knows who ray mysterio is and i think him facing his son it doesn't make sense from a just logical standpoint of if wrestling wrestling mind of trying to promote the future. It doesn't make sense for your dad. If we're going to father-son storyline, it doesn't make sense for the father to be beating the son. Even though we want him to. There's going to be some, some beats handed out. But beating him in the match, I don't think that's the way to go. I think, honestly, you have Ray lose. Have Ray do the job for Dominic. It's going to make him a bigger heel in the end, and it's going to help Dominic more, hopefully, going forward. Because he can run with that, I beat my dead feet, uh, deadbeat dad. Like, he can really run with that and really get people to continuously hate him. Just If you have Dominic lose, then knowing, I was like, all right, well, you're not really, you know, you couldn't beat your dad talking all the trash. All right, now what? Now what you going to do? So I, I think you have Dominic win this match. And, uh, you know, maybe Ray maybe hangs it up. I'm not sure. Um, it's kind of hard to have another match after you had a match with your son. Hopefully they can put on a good show. I think they can. And I'm willing to believe they will put on a good match. All right. Let's get into the match that I am most looking forward to for night one. This is the match I think a lot of us are looking forward to. And maybe at main events, we will see. The undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships, the Usos. Versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. There's only one way this needs to end. And it's very, very simple. It, it don't take rocket science. 
Sammy and Kevin must, and I repeat, must win this match. There's no debating it. There's no second guessing it. They must win this match. Simple. That's it. That's all I got to say. I think the match is going to be great. I think it's going to be fantastic. The crowd is going to be all behind Sammy and Kevin Owens. The story needs to be the downfall of the bloodline starts on night one. And what better way than to have the tag team championships dropped and we have new tag team champs in Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. And maybe their activities are not done for WrestleMania, but definitely I think that's a great way, in my opinion, to end off night one with Sami and Kevin Owens potentially main eventing with the Usos for the WWE Undisputed Tag Team Championships. And that's how I am predicting night one will go. Now we're gonna go right into night two, man. So we got Liv Morgan, Raquel, uh, with uh, Liv Morgan teaming up with uh, Raquel Rodriguez, Ronda and Shayna Baszler, uh, Natalia and Shotzi, Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville. I don't know. Once again, maybe this is just a another situation of teams being put together to potentially be number one contenders for the tag titles, women tag titles. I do not care for this match. The only people I can see winning this is Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. That's probably the, that's really the only team that should win it. Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler. That's who I have winning this match. Now, if it is for a number one contendership, then we can see something interesting since um, you have Becky Lynch and Lita as tag team champs right now on Raw. So that could be uh, that could be quite interesting if they do go that route. So honestly, Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler, I'm all for it winning uh winning this match um y'all let me know if this is for number one contendership and for the other multi-man match if that's for like a number one contendership coming down going down the line brock lesnar versus omos do not care do not care i think um honestly what i would like to happen i would like the hurt business to get involved i would like for them to rekindle something i think that would be dope but I do think Brock is going to win this match. I just, I just, I feel like Brock is going to win it. And then maybe there's going to be some shenanigans afterwards where the Hurt Business get back together. Maybe Bobby comes out there and they all destroy Brock Lesnar. If something, as long as Brock Lesnar gets destroyed somehow, I'm all for it. But uh, I do think Brock Lesnar is going to win this match. I just don't see Brock uh, putting over Omos. Don't care for the match regardless. But I do think Brock will win this match. Hell in a Cell, Edge versus the... Uh, Demon Finn Balor, because I'm sure the Demon will be there. Oh, this is going to be good. I don't even know who I have to win this. I legitimately don't know. I, I can't even tell you. I want Edge to end the feud there. I want Edge to end... The feud, honestly, should have possibly ended, you know, after, you know, Edge uh, teamed up with his wife. It should have probably ended there. But if I really had to choose... I'm really thinking about this. Really, really thinking about this. Who benefits more? Because I, I think Edge is coming down. I believe the reports are saying this may be his last year wrestling. I think he's going to hang it up after this year. Honestly, Finn Balor. I will go with Finn. Finn could take this win. We saw Edge take the win a few years ago uh, against... Um, Seth Rollins and that hell in a cell. I think Finn needs this win more. Finn could benefit, especially winning a hell in a cell against Edge. If anybody can benefit from that, I think it's Finn. And then you go on. You you, you no more of this. You move forward. That's I, I love Edge, and I think it would be cool. You know, if he w did win, then that's cool. But where does it leave Finn? You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be the leader of Judgment Day, and he's losing. Nah, I think Finn needs to win. And it plays into the storyline. If you have Finn win, you have Rio win, and you have Dominic win, it's playing into the storyline that the Judgment Day is uh, formidable. Almost three-fourths of the members of Judgment Day won at WrestleMania. I don't think Damian Priest even ha is on the card like that, but I'm sure he'll be involved in somebody's match, you know, on the sideline. That 
promotes like okay everybody won at wrestlemania this is an important faction so i'm going with finn there all right um the raw women's championship bianca Belair versus oscar i love bianca but i think her time as a uh, champion is uh has come to a close she had a pretty cool title reign hit some you know there were some ups and then there was definitely some downs but i think it's time for oscar to win at wrestlemania i think oscar deserves a wrestlemania moment and um i think it's her time i think it's her time to win the raw women's championship bianca belair will be fine taking this loss i think it's oscar's time to win the championship so i'm going with oscar and um and uh, hopefully it's a good match that's all i can ask for the intercontinental championship match gunther versus drew mcintyre versus sheamus this is gonna be a banger it's gonna be brutal and i'm gonna i can't wait for it but um if i had to choose i'm gonna have gunther retain i don't think you take the title off him yet not yet not yet i think you have gunther retain here i i, I think the story with drew and sheamus is gonna really play into the fact that they distracted each other so much that gunther was able to pick the parts pick the pieces he's gonna have to be smart and methodical here you know drew and sheamus are going to be trying to go at each other's throats instead of trying to take him down together and ultimately gunther's going to pick his spots i think he still needs to be the intercontinental champion the intercontinental championship has not looked this fucking great in quite some time have him still be the champ so i'm all with gunther still being the intercontinental champion after uh wrestlemania and of course the main event the the match that we're all waiting for for night two the match that we've been speculating for months and months and months will cody do it will roman retain you already know the undisputed wwe universal championship match roman reigns versus cody rose the tribal chief versus the american nightmare honestly y'all know how i feel cody needs to win it i love roman reigns i love his title reign it's been great it's been fantastic it's been you know so it's at his dull moments but for the most part it's been a fun ride he has carried the company for a better part of a three years on his back he has held it down but i think it's time cody be the one they could pull a swerve they could definitely pull a swerve and maybe pull the trigger maybe at SummerSlam. who knows but i think roman losing to Cody Rose, that's how the story should end. And then you can still, you can still play it up afterwards. You know what I'm saying? The, the the story doesn't, you know, have to, you know, permanently end there. You can really go some routes here. You can really take some avenues. And I think there's gonna be some shenanigans. I think maybe the Usos will get involved. I think Solo will get involved. And I think Sammy and Kevin Owens will get involved because I, Sammy has to be involved in this. Sammy needs to be involved in this because Cody can't do it on his own. Sammy and Kevin Owens need to be involved in this. So it's going to be crazy. I cannot wait, but I'm going ultimately Cody Rhodes beating the Tribal Chief to an amazing pop. Because there's some people that still don't believe it. And a part of me still don't believe he can possibly do it because we're talking about WWE and they can really switch it up. But I'm 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 locked in with Cody Rhodes winning the WWE Undisputed Universal Championship. And there's rumors that, you know, Triple H has already approved the new championship look. Roman doesn't need the new championship look. Cody does. Because it's gonna be a new era. The Cody era, the American Nightmare era. So Yep, that's that's my preview and predictions. You know what I'm saying? Let me know about the the multi-man and multi-women matches. Do their matches have any significance? I'm not sure. I, I just know that they were brought up, but I'm not sure if they lead to number one contenderships for respective tag team championships. Let me know down below. But also let me know who y'all think is going to win, who y'all think is going to lose, how you think things are going to play out, what match are you looking forward to the most, and which night do you feel like is going to be the better night, night one or night two. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 150K, and I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champ of the world and your inner clutch world heavyweight champion. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all in the next one. Peace.